you put up your Christmas tree before or after Thanksgiving? If I could put up my tree after Halloween, I probably would do it, but we do have a tradition, and that is the day after Thanksgiving. We put up our wonderful tree, our wonderful tree, wonderful tree. We all usually pitch in to decorate it this year. I did most of the decorating because we were so busy with other activities. And the day after Thanksgiving when the tree is up, Frosty and Snowflake are elves come to visit. We have a boy and girl elf that come out and they also have their pets with them. We have a St. Bernard named Buddy, 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 Buddy. And we have a beautiful deer named Crystal, Crystal, Crystal. So Frosty, Snowflake, Buddy, and Crystal come out when the tree is up after Thanksgiving. Number two is how early or late do you start your Christmas shopping? And I start every single year on Thanksgiving night because we visit my side of the family on actual Thanksgiving and everybody knows they have to give us their Christmas list because this is going to be coming up in one of the holiday questions. We buy for everybody. So everybody has to provide their list and we typically have them typed out like typed out lists that we hand to everybody. Everybody gets a copy. And then we have text messages going with everybody on it. Like, Don't buy this person this, or I bought this. Oh my gosh, it gets to be crazy. And it starts on Thanksgiving night. Number three, number three, 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 is what is your favorite holiday or Christmas movie? That is a new one. We watch the same old things every year. I absolutely love the claymation videos from a very long time ago, like The Year Without Santa or um, Santa Claus is Coming to Town, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, all the claymation movies I love. We always watch those, but as of late, <laughs> this is sort of funny, but it's the most wonderful time of the year and it's a Hallmark movie. And we have seen it like 20 times in the past month. It is, I think it's on Amazon, but we bought it unless it was free. I can't remember. We've bought so many movies lately, but the most wonderful time of the year has Henry Winkler in it. Um, he is older, but he's still fantastic. And of course, it's about a girl that runs into her uncle and the uncle meets some stranger at the airport that's good looking and he invites him home and they end up getting together. Anyway, so the most wonderful time of the year. What is your most favorite Christmas carol is next and that is definitely by far Oh Holy Night. Oh Holy Night. Now, I don't know all the lyrics. I know Oh Holy Night. The stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. And then that's it. And then, you know, the chorus. But I love when carolers sing that. It gets me very emotional. I especially love it when it hits the divine. The lyric hits divine very, very high. I don't know. It's not high pitched, but it's a very high note. I love it. Completely love it. Number five, number five, five, five is what is the best Christmas present you have ever received? Now, when I was younger, I have tons of different gifts that I loved, but as of recently, when my husband gave me my Anushka bag, that is my sugar skull bag, totally I freaked out because number one, I love Anushka bags um, and it's a crossbody bag. I love sugar skulls and it's just the most beautiful bag. Right after I said that, I had to go get it.
received. This is a weird one. Okay, this is strange but funny. All of a sudden, I opened up a box at my mom and dad's when we're all sitting around and I pulled out a hot pink brassiere with jewels all over it. Definitely not my size and it was like, that is awkward and weird and funny at the same time because none of us are offended by anything, but I was like, that is very creepy and odd. And my dad told the story about how he had to buy it at a yard sale for a dollar because it stood out when him and my mom were yard sailing. And he went over and he asked the guy, how much is that brassiere? And the guy was like, it's a dollar. And so my dad bought it and he thought this would be a great, like funny, odd thing for someone to open up and see the reaction. So every single year, the person that has it rewraps it and gives it to someone every single year. And so people open up and they literally forget about this goofy thing until they open it. We all have a laugh. I think it's circulated enough. Like everybody's opened this darn thing year after year after year. Number seven is what is the best gift you ever gave? It was in 2019 that we gave my son a CyberPower PC gaming setup that was very pricey. And at the same time, we gave my daughter an electric Jeep. Very pricey. That was a very pricey Christmas. But they went bonkers like oh my gosh it was so darn it was priceless and they used those for a very long time afterwards number eight is how old were you when you stopped believing in santa and i have not stopped believing in santa number nine is do you celebrate christmas with your pets Christmas buddy gets stocking treats and he gets a gift that he has to rip open and it takes us ripping a little piece and then he'll rip it and usually play with the paper instead of what's inside it but every single year he gets stocking stuffers and a little gift. Number 10 is what is your favorite holiday tradition? My favorite holiday tradition is after my husband's family comes over for three hours and we have a wonderful meal. We exchange one or two gifts each. Then we proceed to travel over to my mom and dad's house from 2 p.m. till 10 p.m. at least for eight hours of additional opening gifts. We have a very large family on my mom and dad's side because we're th three, three, three girls and their families and we all open up multiple gifts. I'm talking, it is extremely materialistic looking, but my dad explained it to one of my uncles who was like, oh, this is so materialistic. And my dad said, you have to understand there is one time a year that we all come together for a very nice amount of time. We are all in the same room. We are all sitting there talking to each other constantly for like eight hours, opening gifts and laughing and having fun. And it brings us together. And we always are so grateful and thankful for everything. Plus, a lot of times we don't spend that much during the year. Like we all don't travel or go to extravagant places. So this spending is like once a year and really does bring us closer together plus we celebrate the season of Christmas so we believe that even though it looks materialistic and it is it is materialistic but it behind it it is getting together celebrating and the giving aspect of it 11 is does your family have any bizarre or unique traditions and it's just that we get together for eight solid hours like to some people they may be like one or two hours is enough but we love we love being over there a very long time and the only reason we really leave at 10 is because we got to get back home to buddy to let him out otherwise we'd probably be there till like midnight or later 
Christmas ornament. This is one of them I love felt. I love it, love it, love it. This brightly beautiful colored postcard. I love, love this little pup. I just love this, that it looks like a real little, my gosh, oh, something's inside there. This whole time something's been inside. what this 
actually was in April, but we symbolically are celebrating his birthday. That's the whole meaning of Christmas for us. Um, that to me is the best gift of what it symbolizes for us. That is 100% the best gift. Number 28 is do you make New Year's resolutions? And if you ever kept one, that is one of my videos coming up. If you have not seen them, you'll have to check out my New Year's resolution videos. I love making New Year's resolutions. I absolutely love it. To me, when December 31 passes, passes and the first comes up, I love it. And one of my little activities that I do is I have my cozy, my cozy little cup of coffee and I write down all the goals and the resolutions that I have. Um, I do monthly and I do yearly goals and have I ever kept them? I would say I'm progressing towards goals every year. I get closer and closer and closer to the bigger goals that are in the future. Um, I have read a book that I once said that I wanted to read. It took me a whole year when it could have taken someone else like a month, but I did complete it. Um, so I just absolutely love New Year's resolutions. Number 29 is what is your best tip to stay calm and de-stress during the holidays? And I have to say, pick an activity or an outing or something to do for yourself and plan it during the holidays. Pick a date and say, during this block of time, I'm going to be doing this. I'm not going to let anything interrupt it. Completely do it for yourself. Now, if you're someone that loves being around people, plan it with a group of friends. Say, we all have to do this particular thing, whether it's an escape room, a movie, time over your house, you know, doing a secret Santa gift exchange, whatever de-stresses you. Some people like being by themselves completely and just meditating and watching a movie by themselves or whatever the scoop is, but pick a date for sure to look forward to that particular date. You will love it. I have 10 more questions. Okay, number 30. I'm reading off this little list. Do you have a holiday playlist and name one song? Yes, I have a Christmas playlist on Musee. Is that what you call it? Musee? I have 18 tracks on there and a oh, holy night. Now, if you want to look up two of my favorite renditions of a oh, holy night, the first one is 1970, Ed Ames. Ed, E, D, A, M, E, S, Ed Ames from 1970. Now, that is more opera opera style singing, but it's from my childhood, so I love that rendition. The second rendition of the song is by Third Day, which is my favorite band. I love it. So look up Third Day, Oh Holy Night. Oh my gosh, that is my favorite. Number 31 is do you buy presents for a lot of people or only people who are closest to you? The sad part about that is I buy for a lot of people because the closest people to me are a lot of people because we have two big families in here where we live and we do not pick names. We buy for everybody. Now, I typically spend $50 for everybody, each everybody and parents. I spend $100, so that's $400 right there for parents and for my kids, I pretty much go off the deep end because they would like more expensive things. I do not buy during the year at all. Like there's, I buy minimal during the year, but if they want bigger ticket items, I am saving up and I typically do get them. I also get that for them because they're not moochy, terrible children. They're very grateful, sweet, wonderful, productive human beings. So uh, I buy for everybody, like a lot. Number 32, I gotta read this. It says, what is the coolest present you have ever received during a secret Santa? My coolest gift I have ever received is my TMI Dam ornament. Like my YouTube, it was very, very specific. My friend knew that I was involved in that. This was in 2019. And when I opened it up, 
like large or, you know, sometimes medium, sometimes extra large. And I've received shirts that are way too big. And it's like, oh, that's odd. I just asked for an extra large and it has to be a large. Or I asked for a large and it's like, I need 2XL because the sizing is just different. So I've returned it, but I've exchanged the shirts. Like I've gotten the same thing. I've just gotten them, you know, different sizes. Oh, this is a neat one. Number 34 is, have you ever experienced a blizzard? And what is your craziest snowstorm story? A hundred percent. I even looked this up because I wasn't sure whether it was 1976 or 1978. In 1978, I was eight years old. I was living in Virginia. We had the worst blizzard. I clearly remember it. I remember going out after it was over, and I don't know how tall I was, but the snow came up to, like, probably right, like, pretty high up. Like, I stepped off our stoop, and I went into snow really deep. It was up to the windows on the cars. Was that three feet? Was it three feet? I have no idea what it was, but it was a ton of snow. And yes, I was younger, so of course it's going to seem much bigger than it was, you know, to an adult. But that was the craziest snowstorm we ever got. Number 35 is, what was your favorite thing to do on a snow day home from school as a kid? A hundred percent. It was sledding. We would go down to our lake. We had a lake with a huge, very steep hill. Very, very, very steep. I am almost 100% sure I'm not making this up that my sister broke her arm sledding down that skill. That, that hill was so, so very, very steep. And I think she was going too fast and she ran into like a concrete little barrier type thing and she broke her arm. But it was so awesome. Everybody and their mom was up on that hill sledding down. So we would immediately, we had a trek around the lake to get up to it. And it's so fantastic. Now we didn't like shooting down there. And then we'd have to walk up the steep hill. That was sort of a pain, but I loved it. Number 36 is, do you reuse bows or wrap? Definitely not. Every single year, typically, and this is going to be a question that I answer in a little bit, but typically I go after the holidays and I'll get cheaper wrap and I'll store up in a big contractor bag fresh rolls of paper. I don't use bows. I never use bows, but I use nice paper. And since we have three families and my mom and dad, wait, is that right? No, we have three total families, my sisters and my parents, each of them gets a different wrap for the families. Like my mom and dad get a wrap, my sister and my sister, they all get different wrap. Number 37, we're almost done, is have you finished your holiday shopping yet? And the answer is right before this video, I just bought two more items for my kids. Now granted, they're like stocking stuffers, but hopefully this is it because I am relying on Amazon to get them to me by Saturday. So I think that's pretty much it. I do have a couple of gift cards I need to get for people, but I can get that in public. So that's easy. I could get that like Sunday night. Number 38 is, do you prefer to go out for New Year's or stay in? A hundred percent stay in. When I was younger, I used to have parties. Like when I was single, I used to have parties over my apartment or my, yeah, it was pretty much my apartment. Uh, but in my married older with kids stage, uh, we have the same tradition. We go over my mom and dad's house for a nice dinner, usually a steak dinner. And then we usually say goodbye around 9 p.m. Scoop back to our house. We put on the um, Dick Clark's ball dropping video, ball dropping live event. And we sit there and watch the ball drop. We take a picture and we text it to everybody. Text, 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 happy new year, happy new year, happy new year, happy new year. And then we usually watch a movie or conk out and that's it. We really don't go anywhere. Number 39 is, do you go Boxing Day shopping? I had to look this up. We do not call it Boxing Day. We just say after holiday, get the good deals, but it's the good deals after Christmas. I do go to Target and Walgreens and I immediately run to the Christmas area or look, look to see if anybody's left anything. Number 40. Oh my gosh, this video is so long. What a ramble. What is your ideal Christmas? My ideal Christmas is spending time with my family. My extended family, but my family 100%. I love spending time with my family. I love 
us. I know a number of you out there are going through something so sad during this time. Please know that I'm thinking about you for sure. I am thinking about you and hoping and praying that you can take care of yourself and that through this season it is just another day that you are happy and go into the new year refreshed and that you set your sights on goals for yourself to make yourself better and rejuvenated and refreshed. I pray that everybody out there is safe and happy and that you can enjoy the holidays as best as possible no matter 